Well, okay, watching uh, the gratifier, gravity fire, defire, whatever it's called, by some person I really don't know, by Charles Crawford III. I've done a lot of videos and a lot of research on it, trying to get the lift up. I watch the videos and I'm looking at why is the rotating disc, what that's supposed to do, and the wires are so, appear to be heavy kind of weighing the whole thing down, at least I think, so there must be an explanation, I, I just sorry, I just don't have time to search it out, I just recently heard of the gratifier, Grati gravity fire, defire, whatever it's called, <laughs> gravity defying device, but I'm sure that you'll learn a learn a lot from that uh, Charles I made something that was I don't know if you could even call it I don't know, fall in the area of a uh, lifter I did uh, it was I think around 2004 or something like that or way sometime in that area time frame I found uh, a device at the University of British Columbia surf sales every Wednesday from 12 to 4 a long time ago in the 90s there was a device that had a a way to adjust pulling power I'm not sure I was used in the physics I guess in the physics department for some something maybe even gravity or not gravity but ion devices because I got a lot of um, plasma capacitors from the University of British Columbia as well and transformers so it could have been part of that I, I don't know but anyway it had uh, I still have this part of it this is a micro thin very thin hair thin steel wire very strong this is what I used for lifting a toy UFO I built a long time ago Okay, so I had this that's mounted on the device actually. I guess this is what they used was silver tone recording wire. I guess that's what they used. It's mounted on a reel. That was very sensitive. You could adjust it negative so many grams or one gram, less than a gram. So this wire, I don't know if you can see it or not. Mm, where in the heck is the camera? Right there. Very thin stuff. And it's all it's on a metallic um, piece here, spool. And that it was charged. So I had a separate power supply and charged the unit up. So this was charged, this wire went up on a like so onto a tiny pulley that came with the kit <clears throat> or the unit it had attachments for different things and down to the toy UFO and I set it so it would just be a, a gram if not even that that would needed to lift it so then applying the high voltage it lifted and this would follow suit as it lifted, this would roll back on a very advanced kind of like a giant clock spring mechanism. It had to be careful because sometimes I had to work a brake on it, a little knob that would stop it, or the whole thing would go whoosh, flying across the room, and this would probably break or break break the saucer unit I had that's interesting stuff I don't know what it's made out of I'm gonna look it up tonight on the internet and see what recording wire what's it made out of because I can't break it with my hands unless I really oh I did now okay so I still have that part I don't have the other part you have to measure the stuff with a micrometer but yeah, so 30, 20,000, 30,000 volts created to lift. The uh, saucer itself is made out of many layers or pieces of, <coughs> excuse 
Excuse me. <clears throat> Styrofoam and foil. Strips of foil that were shaped like the saucer. Radi radio, like this. So the ions could come out of the bottom of it. It did have a, um, a little flashing light on the top of it, LED, micro LEDs, and a little motor in it to make wheels move around. So that thing um, got it down pretty low, turned on the high voltage and it went going like this. There's a video of it somewhere on the internet because I filmed it and put it up on some place. I don't think YouTube is around yet. <coughs> I think it was MySpace I put it on. I don't know. That's out there somewhere. And of course, uh, people thought, oh, you know, he's got a, a wire on it or something and trying to trick people. That was the response I got. <laughs> no, nothing about ion lifters. Just that weird response. So, um, I did feature it on Fox TV with Jonathan Frakus and Robert Kiviet Productions. Ghost Best Evidence caught on tape. It's still on the internet somewhere. And another program, and later on, on uh, Beyond Invention, but it had a direct, it was hanging off of something else. I didn't have the power supply and all that, and I was using radio waves and that stuff that would push it around like this on the floor kind of thing. But uh, getting into this lifter, I'm not sure what the gravitator is supposed to do. As I understand, it's supposed to levitate. From the video I've seen, with spinning discs. But uh, I don't know the full story on it. If something like that is true, then you would expect to have a, a film crew around it filming it. And possibly even scientists may be looking at it. I mean, that's what I would do if I had something like that. If I wanted to promote it, most of the stuff I didn't want to promote that I was doing anyway, but I got caught up in it, so I, what the heck. Have fun with it. So anyway, yeah. Um, the gravif gravifier, I know that an electrostatic field spinning in a, a magnetic field at the speed of light will do something, and the reverse of that as well. So I'm wishing you the best of luck on this uh, project of yours, the gravifier. You put a lot of time and effort into it. Uh, did you find this thing on the internet, or was it sent to you, or, or how did you find, find out about it? Has anybody else got results from it? Personally, to me, it looks too heavy. Okay. Oh, screw. I'm not sure what the rotating disc is supposed to do, unless it was a fan. Do you have an exact uh, weight on your gravity fire? Because ion drive is very, very delicate. They use it on the stealth bomber on the wings to give it extra lift, but that's a large area. And the other ion devices, the French gentleman had quite a unique device that really spun around. It's direct connect. I call them direct connect like two downs of brown. Controllers had something he direct connect spun around as well. But you got to be very careful with the stuff if you're using high voltage DC because a wire snap breaks, causes fire, even electrocution. So I made sure I was well protected and had the controls right pretty far back from what I was doing a long time ago. So I don't know if it's going to help you or not, but I'm wishing all the best of luck with your gravitator, gravifier. I don't know. You know, I... I see the Facebook group uh, American Anti-Gravity. Is there anybody else doing anything interesting? The only thing I know that could be feasible in a real true gravity device is uh, ceramics like barium titanate which does produce a powerful field around it. 
if you put a, you use a lot of power, by the way, but if you use a couple of thousand watt amplifier and direct feedback to the barium tape itself, you get a heck of a powerful result. Actually, the barium titanator will get warm. I'm speaking of large pieces. And you can't hold it because your hands will, it pushes up. Actress lady, Caroline Allard, stunned actress for Scully in X-Files, and I used to have fun with it, trying to grab it, and she stuck her business card in it. I had a lot of fun with that thing. I had a crown amplifier. Model 600, 1972, grounded bridge type that worked perfect with that. It was complements of DREP, Defense Region Established Pacifica, that they sold off to Peter Sikora, who had satellite electronic domain, and I got it for, I think, 60 bucks or something. It was a very heavy piece, but it worked great for that. All of that was reproduced with a Tesla cult in Gold Beach, Oregon. We got similar results with an ordinary amplifier. <coughs> using a seven pound, eight pound, well, maybe six pound barium titanate cylinder, as well as a plate, a round plate of barium titanate. So anyway, I hope that all helps you. Um, you may want to look up Charles Yost's Electric Spacecraft Journal book magazine, where the uh, US military was experimenting with barium titanate round balls to levitate a four balls to levitate a fifth ball and it did levitate according to the article so um, things I got levitating were mostly around it around the cylinder so anyway wishing you all the best of luck on that I just wanted to because I was looking at your different videos and wishing you luck on it so okay well I guess time for me to go take care